super long line here. We're just going to cut this down. Are we cutting it? This doesn't have to be. Oh, it's just too long? Yeah, it doesn't have to be four no. feet long. In fact, it's better if it's not, because then you have more liquid flowing through there. So, when do we flush? Just when we get a clogged head. And then this can go right here. Yeah, only when you when you when you get a clogged head. So um, what we want to do is remove this here. This is going to, of course, put air into the system. And you just put this like this. And then we we'll want to put this little cap here. Uh, close that up. Yeah. yeah. Keep that sealed. Okay. <clears throat> so, then we want to remove our silicone cap here. And catch, put the catch basin underneath. Nice. Thank Is that you, something sir? that we, or just something you get at a hardware store, catch basin? Yeah, just like a, that's just like a, a parts bin that we okay. cut the side off so that you could fit it in there. It works pretty well. Probably anything, probably a rubber man. Yeah. And then what you do? Flushing fluid. As you put the flushing fluid in here, like so. Looks like a science experiment. Yeah. <laughs> and then you take this cover, you put this over the top. That's going to force air, force this flushing fluid into the head. So then you can open this and push all the flushing fluid through. That's all you do. You don't have to do until anything it, under until the, it runs clear. You don't have to do anything on the computer. No. Although to see this curtain, then when you loosen it, then the flushing fluid doesn't flow anymore. So you got air coming out of your pneumatics there, pushing it through. Yes. So you're just closing the tunnel, basically. Yeah. So now, when you close this, you can see the curtain appear. And there's your printhead. Oh, so you want this the stream to come out? Okay. So now we're actually flushing, we're actually flushing uh, flushing fluid through the nozzles and cleaning them out. There's a little curtain of flushing fluid coming out of there. You can't see it on the video, but. It's there. So you said yesterday, since it's an H, that we're only doing like the top level, and there's a way to get through a different level. Yes. Well, the top and the bottom of the printhead. So when I opened the manual purge valve, I did the top of the printhead. Mm -hmm. and then when I closed it, now it goes to the bottom. Okay. And you run a whole bottle through? No. Well, I mean, I'm mean, not a whole bottle, but a whole. A whole jig, a whole flushing bottle. And we, we'll do a couple of them. Let's do like three. Until you're looking, it comes out clear. Well, you want you want to see all of those nozzles clear out. So, when you're looking at this, you can kind of see that there's some that are still missing. And you could actually um, go one step further, grab these here, and take a a lint-free towel. Come on, quit sticking. And actually wipe this while it's pushing. So this is just further, further cleaning it. And the flushing fluid is kind of oily, you said? No, no. the flushing fluid is like a like ink thinner. The the okay. preservation fluid is kind of oily. Mm. So what's the difference to, between the wiping fluid and a flushing fluid? Just the chemical makeup or the viscosity yeah. or whatever? Yeah, you know, I'm not exactly sure. They say that 